A beep and a wave from a friendly face is just a normal day at the local Goodwill in Hamden. Um, we, we have a very strong customer base, so a lot of our customers are regulars. They're in here a lot. Those regular customers may be all that's keeping stores like Goodwill still in business during this recession. I do. I'm a, a Goodwill junkie. I, so I, yeah, I mean, I can come here for 15 bucks and buy an office chair from like 1960, and it's fabulous, you know, chrome and aluminum. But the great stuff's really not, you don't find anything. I don't find anything really great, but I, you know, I can appreciate second rate great. Second rate great may not be good enough for everyone, though, since sales have been down. Donations, however, have been steady. I think a lot of people are are moving out of the larger homes that they're having. A lot of, especially around here, there's a lot of apartment complexes. So a lot of people are moving out of the big homes and into smaller complexes where they can't fit quite as much stuff. So they're getting rid of a lot of the old um, stuff that they're not necessarily using anymore. Goodwill sales may be down, but that's not true for all local consignment shops. Good as new here in Hamden actually prefers when the economy is a little bit down. They say they get more sales that way. Sales have been up more, people have been coming in shopping. A lot of new faces have been coming in than usual. Before it was just the standard, the usual people that we knew were going to come in. Now it's just a lot of incoming, a lot of sales. It's just been busier in here. Owner Susan Fasulo, who did not want to talk on camera, told us that she's been in business 25 years, and each time the economy falls, she gets busier. Good as News seems to be one of the few stores that have avoided the recession. From Hamden, I'm Elisa Fraza, QNN.